There is going to be blood, guys. Same alone, the same alone. Always the same alone. No, 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 no. <sighs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I do something at the end of the year that is called being a masochist. Basically, I do a battle between my favorite picks. So I put one against another. I choose them randomly. And then I have to decide which one is better. And you do like rounds. And at the end, you got a final winner. And hopefully, I don't cry. I'll be introducing you the picks as I pick them up. I won't stay a lot of time with romance books because I've just made a video with my favorite romance books of the year. I have the top 8 here. If you're wondering where are the top 9 and 10, honorable mention number 10 is going to be with Love from Cold War. Absolutely adore this book. It's an interstitial romance. I barely read them anymore, but I still have hope. And this time I was so, so glad I tried it. It's a co worker's romance between a guy who is like really quiet and meticulous and organized and he doesn't really talk with people and between the heart of the party they have to come to this project together to save the thematic park they work in and they fell in love and then in top nine i have blood over bright heaven i haven't talked about this book yet in this channel that's why i wanted to mention it i really 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 loved it especially the first half i feel like the second half i don't know if this is a popular opinion or not because i've seen people absolutely absolutely adoring and pricing this book but I really like the ending I have really read it before still it was a really compelling story I just adored the way the author writes characters the sort of Kai Gang is still my favorite from her but this was really really good if you are looking for a standalone in fantasy which is really rare it does deal with a lot of problems I just was reading it it was like just that's what women will do like I wasn't really surprised about what was happening because it wasn't shocking for me I was like yeah, that makes so much sense. It's awful how they're behaving, but at the same time, I'm seeing the news, and that's how humans behave. I feel it was a bit on the nose sometimes, but I suffer it, I enjoy it. I thought it was a really good book, even though I didn't feel it was like really as special as I wish it was, and that's why it's not in the top eight, but it's still top nine very solid really 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 enjoy it and now the top eight the suffering must start let this be easy please edring english is my top three favorite romance book i think this year and first low two series one of them is a thriller romance series and the other one first low i have here the picks so i read this year before their hand and last argument of kings. And Jeva Combi here, I thought he had the perfect combination for me. You know, when you're reading an author and he's like, he's doing it exactly as I like it. The humor is so me. It's like always there, but it's not like comedy. I hate comedy. And then you have really great characters, which I love. I just love humans so much. I just adore how twisted we are sometimes. I mean, you're following Same, he just tortures people for a living and he's really good at it because he has been tortured before and everything about this books is just really like kind of twisted and grave at the same time it's just so realistic. I actually recorded a video talking about this but I haven't been able to edit yet. I will try to now that I'm more free because my finals are over so I'll try to edit them and you'll see why I love this so so much. But yeah, amazing. Really really my taste. And then Adrian English Miss Mysteries. I've talked about that in the video I did for the romance books, but summing up is a series I absolutely adore. I don't know how I'm going to choose them, sorry. Okay, Adrian English. Amazing books. I gave five stars to book four, five, and six. Finish them, reread them. I love them. I just want to read them all my life. I love the mystery. I love Adrian English, who is the main character, and the love interest, Jake. He was the bang of my system for books one, two, and three because he's homophobic. He was treating Adrian English kind of right. You could see that they have really good chemistry and that everyone else wasn't right for Adrian English. But at the same time, Jake was homophobic, so he keeps saying Adrian English things that weren't right. <laughs> I love that they keep saying Adrian English instead of just saying Adrian. It's just like Adrian English, it just kind of has a ring on it. It was amazing. It gave me all the feelings. It was one of my all-time favorite romance books. How can I choose the two? two authors i kind of discovered this year because i had read you ever combi first book in first law but i haven't really loved it so i kind of discovered him this year and another author i discovered this year and loved being onyx as much as i loved love 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 love, love. oh my gosh 
Don't die on me. As much as I love this books, I just think about books four, five, and six in Adrian English. And I was just so addicted to them, guys. I don't know if I can choose this before that one. Just let me think. I need to think. I'm going to choose. No. Oh gosh, this is hard. This is really hard. I wish the first one was easier. Oh my gosh, it's just that I love Logan. Just thinking about Logan, I think it was my favorite character this year. But Adrian English was so good. I think I enjoy it more Adrian English because I finish them and I reread them. But at the same time, it's because I never do that with fantasy. So I just finished Your Recon Me and decided I was going to read absolutely everything in First Law. So I feel like it's kind of the same level of intensity. Do you know what? I'm I'm going to choose this one. I was going to choose Adrian English, but then I, I think about logging and I think about how much I want to keep continuing with this series. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let, let's just choose this but it could have been the other perfectly because oh my gosh that, this was hard next ones please let it be easier I need an easy one Mala sang okay I wrote down Mala sang I was thinking about Dead House Gates but I don't have the pick here so I will be using Garden of the Moon but Dead House Gates Dead House Gates that's all I need to say Dead House Gates Please, 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 please. No. No. No, guys, no, I can't, I can't, no. Can I pick another one? I feel like I'm doing the final round right now. I can't. Guys, the same along. You tell me which picks do you think are going to get to the end. I would be like, the same along, Erva and Malasa. And I'm doing the same along against Malasa in the first round. The same how long I've talked about this book so many times in this channel is my favorite good romance of all time. It's on a standalone, but I loved it with all my heart. I was just so consumed about it. Like I just left class and went read this book, which never had happened before. I just think it was a brilliant book. I've read over 250 romance books and this was my favorite. It's a historical fiction between two surfers. One of them is out, the other one is not. It's set in 1976. They are going to become friends and it's just the kind of love that feels so real. It's just so good, like so good. Please read it, it's amazing. Then I have The House Gates. I read Gardens of the Moon this year. I liked it, I didn't love it. I feel like I was lost half the time and then I read The House Gates, which for me is set a new standard in fantasy. Like if you made me choose between The House Gates and Joaba Combi, it will be really hard for me because I feel like I enjoy more Joaba Combi because it's like easier to read and fun. But The House Gates just set the standard, you know, like for me, yeah, but Kambi didn't put the bar as high. You tell me which book market me more this year, probably the House Gates. I really want to read the entire Malasan series. There are books that I found really hard to get through because most of the time I'm really stressed about life and I just don't have the mindset to read them. So it takes me really, really long, but they're just so good. Part of me doesn't want to read more Malasan books because I feel they're setting the standard so, so high. I'm not going to enjoy any other fantasy books. I've only liked it, like really, really like it, Jarrah Kami books, since I read Molasan. That was the only fantasy book that was able to be saved. Everyone else just was completely destroyed because of Dead House Gates. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry for what I'm about to do, but the same way long is my favorite book. I had the best time reading it. It was my book. I love Dead House Gates with all my heart. Believe me, I love Dead House Gates, but... The same alone. Yes, the same alone. So sorry. Gosh, this hurt. I need a moment. After this, everything has to be easy. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> everything. Bound. This is a novella, the book 2.5 in Book of Ancestor series. If you don't know, Book of Ancestor was my favorite fantasy book last year. Well, it was a trilogy. I have a key here, Book One, because I read it in 2022, but I don't have the novella on physical. So you're following a really, really unreliable narrator. He's not a great, he's nine, he's amazing as every nine year old in fantasy. It was a book that has really, really good characters, really powerful dynamics, and I really love that it started like really low and it feels like the stakes are really low because you're in a convent Do you see that Nona Gray is in danger but it's like you know kind of cozy dark academy vibe and then you read book two and three and you discover that the stakes were actually really really high 
and that you're following kind of the pawns in the story, but the masterminds behind had been predicting everything your pawns are doing, so you realize everything that's going on and your mind just explodes and you're like, this was so good. And I read a short story that is bound and it's kind of a love story that I miss because I'm dumped and I skipped the novella. It was amazing just reading about your favorite characters from your favorite fantasy series. And then, okay, which one are you? Empty set as a Moda Sushi from Master of Moon Cultivation. Guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot about this book in the romance video I did. And that was because when I was like looking the books in the Goodreads challenge, I saw the book. I was like, oh, but this is a reread. It doesn't count. Because I've reread that book several times, the first one, but it wasn't a reread. It's just that I watched the Donghua in 2022. And I started reading Grandmaster of Immunity Cultivation in 2022. But I finished that book in January. I'm so sorry. But I have it here. Better late than never. I I chose book 5 because it's my favorite cover even though I still haven't read book 5. I just don't want it to be over, you know, like I read all the books instead for book 5. I've read so many fanfictions, I mean, I've read more fanfictions of this than books I think this year. I just love Wei Wu Shadow Lantern so much. So, Grandmaster of Human Cultivation is a Xianxia Dan Mei book, which basically means that it is gay romance with Chinese fantasy. I adore them. I don't love the writing style, I will say the same. I'm sorry but it's true I don't like the pacing I don't like the writing style but the plot is so good it's so complex it's so well done like I never read fantasy with romance because I feel like the romance is never as good as in a romance book and the fantasy is so lacking all the time so I never read them but with Chinese fantasy that maybe are so so good the plot is really heavy the plot is there but the romance is also there so I feel like it was the perfect balance between all of them so one of my favorite couples if not my favorite couple okay, with Shana Lan Cham versus the novella from my favorite fantasy series. This is one is easy. It's going to be Grandmaster of New Cultivation. It's not this series, it's just the novella of this series. And I mean, it's just a short story. I loved it, but language and where we shall. Language and where we shall. I mean, I mean. So I only have two left. One of them is going to be. Until You by Bria Prescott. What I love about this series is that it has the perfect balance between being emotional, fun, having suspense, and just really good characters. The pacing is really good. It's just everything about this book is so coherent, you know? It just, I don't really have anything bad to say. I just adore the experience of reading it. And there are books that really stick with you. And I really, really love that. And I just adore Bria Prescott characters in general. But I think with this series, she's nailing everything else. And it just shows. I have so many people telling me that they love these books. Highly recommend these books. If you're tired of your typical romance books and you want something a bit more emotional without being over dramatic, because I hate soap operas, Until You by Bria Prescott. 10 out of 10. Amazing book. And then the last one. The last one is going to be Erra. I don't even need to read it. My babies. Erra. It's book four. Sorry, I don't have book one and two, and I have book three, but this week I just adore the cover. Erra is another Dame Xian Shepherd, so gay romance fantasy. It's my currently most enjoyable series. I just love reading these books. I don't know what they have in them because they are crazy. They are not really something I would recommend to myself. Everything is so over the place, everything is so over the top, but it works. It just works. The writing is amazing. It touches my cold heart. Every single time, I just feel like crying. Every time the characters feel like crying. I just love it. Just look at me. These pics are my happy place. They're quite painful, but they're my happy place. If you didn't know, these pics basically you're following a villain, Moram. He kills himself in the first chapter and he goes back in time, kind of back in time, to his 16-year-old self. And he's going to realize that maybe his system whom he thought was the worst person in the entire world, who Moran tortured and raped and just treated really, really badly on his past life. He realizes that he's just doing is not a bad person. Slowly, it takes some time. It was really interesting to see Moran as a character. This adult person who has gone through this horrible life or just being a villain and killing everyone. And then he realizes, oh, 
maybe I did it wrong the first time so maybe I need to do it right this time and it was really good because a lot of the things are changing and the action is always there all the time I just love it love it so much what as I always say please check the trigger warnings because this pick is nuts between until gear and era era really love it until you but Enra. oh gosh i love it you see i told you the first round was just too hard and then i have like the easiest one time to suffer again okay first love yes the CML. I love that when I think about first law, I was like, no, the other one. And then I start remembering everything I love about first law. I'm just so excited to read all the picks. And the CML is just like a standalone, so I cannot read more picks about that. But I just love the CML. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so boring. But the CML, the CML, always the CML. And I have everyone, Grandmaster of the Moon and Cultivation. This is a battle I really, really. Like, there is going to be blood, guys. I love battles that are kind of between the similar genres, otherwise, it's just so hard to choose. My favorite couple is Wei Wish and Lantan, no doubt. My favorite writing style is the Husky and his white cat Chisholm. This story is complete. I watched the Donghua cry my eyes out. I consider the Donghua to be my favorite Donghua. I just love this story. Like, I think this is a story I prefer over Erra. I really love Erra, but Grandmaster is in cultivation. It's just so good. But the bigs. I just don't love reading these bigs as much as I love reading mid beans bigs. The way she cries just speaks to me, you know? Whereas MXTX, I love her. She has writing my favorite couple. She has writing all of my favorite stories. But oh my gosh, her writing style. I don't know if it's because the translation is not as good. But I feel like I'm losing half of the things that are happening. And also the pacing of the story is just not as good. I mean, no, I'm going to trigger some people with that. But I do think mid ones writing style and storytelling is better. I think I'm going to choose Era just because this is about books but as the fandom goes and the story goes and everything goes grandfather of the morning motivation wins this is sorry is part of me at the end i have to see him alone and era and that's it i cannot just no 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 <sighs> You know what? I survived it. The same alone versus Death House Gate. So I can survive this. Okay. No thinking. The same alone because because it's just one book and it touched me in a way no other standalone was able to. Everyone again is going to make me feel so much joy, a lot more joy than the same alone probably because there are going to be a lot of books. But right now the same alone is just so perfect. I'm sorry, my love for that book is not rational, but is there? That was it for the video. I hope you enjoy it. I kind of enjoyed suffering. I'm a kind of really really sad that they have gate was against the same alone in the first round because i think that was the most difficult choice i feel when i edit this i'm going to just be like this like how could you do that like how could you choose this one and not this one but right now is what the hair is telling me to do please let me know in the comments which were your favorite picks this year if you enjoyed this give a like subscribe see you soon in another video